we're getting hit. We're getting hit for sure on this. I thought it was just wind, but there's a hit. Good morning, fishing girl, and it is filming day today, so my focus is not going to be on fishing. I'm going to be filming content, awesome content for our membership site that's going to be coming hopefully by August 1st is going to be the launch date for that. That's what we're shooting for, for the membership site, and there's going to be some awesome content on there that you're not going to want to miss. Today we're filming it, but we're going to see also if we can catch something while we're at it. So let's head to the beach. Okay, we got something on the cut bait on the mullet head. I don't know what it is, but to find out. I actually just caught a spot fish as I stopped recording. Let's see what this is. It's kind of a little fight. Yeah, there's a little fight there. He's in the wash. I don't want him to wake up in the wash. What do we got here? Oh, we got a blue fish. Nice. What was that? Oh, this is my mullet head. Yeah, I got plenty of those. Uh, but we got a blue fish. And uh, if he's keeper, I'm keeping him. I really like blue fish to eat. I just met a new, a new friend. She recognized me from uh, my post about winning that fifth place fish. So, uh, she'll be looking for this video. All right, look at that. Nice little blue fish we're gonna measure. Great thing about this cart is that we've got measurement right on the cart. He is 12 and a half inches to the fork. So here we have this blue fish that I got. He's very weak, so I should have tried to do this sooner, but just real simply, we're gonna cut the gills. This is bleeding them out. These are very, very bloody fish. And to uh, not only to bleed out the fish, but we're gonna cut, we're gonna remove the internal organs because doing that is going to create much better quality meat. I'm just gonna open that up where we, where we cut. of these. I have to get my knife or scissors to put all that off. Um, and we'll throw that in the ocean. All of these internal organs can come out. This will be especially true. Here my knife here. If you've gotten a shark definitely want to get all of those internal organs out as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure I have a fish over here. My other battery died in my other camera, so I'm going to go check it out with this camera. Definitely legal. This is a nice. Look how fat he is. <laughs> He's a good guy. I'm keeping him. All right. So on this rod, I'm going to be throwing out what I consider to be a very good natural bait. These are sand fleas. And so I've got them uh, rigged up with, um, a lot of people like to put the fish bites on the other side of the sand flea to kind of hold it on there better. I've had luck either way. Um, for me, when the, sand, when the flea is gone, I still have the, the, the fish bite on there as bait. So I've got this with some glass beads that I get from the sinker guy, Chip, chip Brundage. And sand flea fish bites and 
than the sand fleas themselves. I'm throwing this straight out, just about into the middle of that trough in front of me. So I got a friend here who joined me to fish. See what we can catch. And we're gonna cross our fingers that that storm keeps going to the east. Right now it's not coming this way. But I've been seeing lightning, but it's down there. It's not here. Setting my drag. Making sure I got some tension on the line and I think we're good to go. I started reeling this in and didn't realize that I've got a fish on here. Looks like a little whiting. Oh, it's a pretty good whiting. He's a good one. This is a Gulf Kingfish. A distinctive black tip on the tail on the top. I'm gonna measure on him. All my other bait was gone, so it's a good thing we we're doing a bait check. All right, it's a nice whiting. I needed you for the tournament, dude. Where were you? Oh, oh I'm catching you with the other hook. You look like you've been caught a time or two. He's got some holes. All right, got a nice kingfish. Let's bring him over here for a little measure. A little over 12 inches. Nice golf kingfish. Oh, yeah, you were close. All right, I, there might be something on here, so I'm gonna check it real quick. But with the wind as strong as it's been, oh my gosh, she. She lost her line <laughs> and then found her line and there was a fish on her hook. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's not every day that you get your line. She, she cast her line out and it just flew all the way out. She had to re-spool and everything. That was like a whole fiasco a little bit ago, but pretty cool she got her whole line back and she got a fish that doesn't happen all the time all right if there's something on here it's not very big let's see I can't really tell oh and we got a ladyfish oh <laughs> I didn't think it was very big that is a big old ladyfish Let's get you off of here, ma'am. We're gonna get a measure and then throw you back. After your photo shoot, of course. Boy, you really got that. All right, let's see how long you are, Miss Ladyfish. All right. Zero. You are 16. 16 inches to the fork and the tail. That nice little ladyfish. She's going back. This one from here. Oh, she's kind of weak. Let me put her out farther. I think she might have been on there a bit. Okay. We'll get you out and make sure you can. You want to revive your fish as much as possible. Okay, so the proper way to release a fish, you don't want to just throw it back because if they've been fighting a while, if they've been out of the water for a while, they're going to be weak. Whoop. They're going to be weak. They need to revive a bit. Okay, there she goes. Still weak. Just going to watch a bit, make sure she can go. She's getting some strength. You got it. I still see her. I'm going to 
make sure she gets out there safely. All right. Yeah, I think she was on there for a little bit. There she goes. You can follow her a bit. Let's see where she goes. Past those waves. All right, there we go. All right, we're getting hit. We're getting hit for sure on this. I thought it was just wind, but there's a hit. So I need to reel it. When you're reeling and you can tell you've gotten hit, you've got to get tension on the line because it's either swimming in really fast or it popped off and I'm just reeling. So I've also got quite a bit of wind. Okay. Yeah, it feels like there might be something still on there. But it's swimming in, into the shore really quick. If it's still on there. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a little, uh, we got a palmetta. I had, this is the first one I've caught this year. This is related to the pompano species. And there's no regulations on this, so um, it'd be a really small fillet, but they taste, um, I've had them before, they're, they're just almost as good as, as pompano. And check this guy out. Now that's why he was swimming so fast. He was swimming into the shore. Now these fish, like pompano, they've got these spikes. You can see them here, these spikes here, spikes on the bottom. So they're kind of related. I believe they're related to the pompano. Look at that. Beautiful little palometta. Awesome little fish. All right, I just want to film. Show how easy this is to push on a low impact beach here at Matanzas Beach. It's very flat, very flat beach. Water is coming in. I keep moving back and back. But Literally just push this with one hand. Now I have to bend over a little bit because this is a little low. That's all right. This is way easier. So much better. 